Welcome to Bloodbath and Beyond. Today we review Mind Games. This is the first time. Directed by Richard Gray, starring Brianna Evagon, Joseph Cross, and Raffi Gavron. This movie is about a group of friends who decide to go away for the weekend. They go to a cabin in the woods and they discover that there's a mine close by. They foolishly take a day trip to the mine and explore a little bit and they find something they probably should not have found. And now they have to figure out how to deal with it. Yes, this is as cryptic as I have to be because we don't want to spoil anything. This is a request from Deke, our top donator over on Patreon. I believe the second movie to feature Brianna Evagon. So thank you for that, Deke. Now what do we like? This is one of those movies that it's best to know nothing about. Don't read the synopsis on IMDb, don't watch the trailer, and don't know anything about it. Because a lot of the fun about this movie is trying to figure out what the hell is happening. You don't know if it's a slasher movie, you don't know if it's aliens, you don't know if it's a supernatural presence or a ghost, and that's for the best because the longer you don't know if it's any of these things, then you're gonna have a more enjoyable time with it. And when you do figure out what it is, it's actually pretty fun and still interesting because you learn a little bit more about what's going on with this whole story. This is honestly probably the hardest movie that we'll review because we don't want to spoil anything, so just go watch it. And when you find yourself engaged in a movie like this, you're going to want to watch it right to the very end in hopes that you get the answers you're looking for. And this film does give you an answer, which is nice. Most of the actors did an excellent job. They don't know what's going on. They go from being playful to frightened and just confused, all while still maintaining their character traits. And I think they did a pretty good job. The movie's also really polished. It just looks really clean. The camera work is really well done. And it just looks like a really high budget. And I don't know that it is. Yeah, they did a good job with their set design. The mine itself does look like it would be a dangerous place that you wouldn't want to go into. As we're watching the movie, we're going through the mine with the characters and we're looking at each other saying like, would you do that? Would you want to like push each other down like a mine shaft in one of those like trolleys? Probably not. It's called a mine cart, John. Haven't oh. you played Donkey Kong? Minecart Mayhem is one of the most aggravating levels in Donkey Kong country. Well, there's not a ton of gore. There are some like bloody aftermaths of things that do happen in the film and they look really solid. Uh, there's also some nudity for those people that like some nudity. We got some man butt if you're into that. And he's having sex with an absolute knockout and you see her naked and just the cast is good looking. So you're going to be satisfied just like from the cinematography to the on-screen talent. Now, what didn't we like? Even though I enjoyed the concept of this film, I thought the buildup was poorly delivered. It just came off really cheesy as the film is focused around Rose's character who wasn't really that strong of a character. So a lot of the screen presence is weak and a lot of the storytelling is weak. So it's hard to like really get through this film. Don't be coy, she's a medium and a damn good one. Yeah, Rose is like a medium. So she's constantly seeing things. She also trips on mushrooms for a bit. It doesn't normally affect me like this. Mushrooms? Seeing spirits. And because she doesn't seem like the strongest actress in the film, the character in general is very out of place. Everybody else is partying, going swimming. You three go swimming. I'll stay here with Rose. And she's curled up in a ball shaking on a couch. And it's kind of odd that people are still kind of doing their own thing. Well, this girl seems like she's about to OD. You do have like a strong cast, but when you have like five friends who legitimate seem like five friends and then just randomly a medium in there, it doesn't make any sense. It's just like deus ex mocking the whole film. And it's also as if they didn't know what to do with a couple characters. There's Claire, who just kind of seems like she's just hanging around, and Guy. He legitimately has next to no role. I mean, he's one of the main characters in the movie, but he just kind of like leaves the screen, comes back in a few scenes, and he doesn't really do anything of note. Even though in this film you do try and figure out why everything is happening, it's very evident and predictable for who is doing all the actions. And I think that's what's really bad about this is they do give you the answer pretty early in the film, but they don't give you the reason why it's all happening. So as you're watching it, you're like, well, why is this happening? I know what is happening, 
but why? And it's a long ride for a simple answer. Again, this just seems really cryptic, and we know. This might be one of the more difficult movies to review because we reviewed a few other movies that have this exact same concept, but at least in those ones, it's revealed right off the bat. This is a slow, gradual build to what the actual concept is, so we just have to talk around in circles. Now it's time for our final thoughts and ratings. Mind Games is a pretty enjoyable film because you're constantly guessing as to what's happening and why, and what else will these people discover in the mine. I think the mine is a cool location. You don't often see too many films that take place in a mine. And I did enjoy the cinematography and just the way that this movie looked. However, there's not a ton here if you kind of figure out what's happening because you're just kind of going through the motions of, okay, when's this going to happen? When is this person going to realize this is happening? And I feel like this movie thought it was a little bit smarter than it actually was. I mean, you can kind of figure it out almost immediately. And there's at least three to four characters that are not very enjoyable. Uh, they either don't do anything or they're absolutely annoying. And sometimes they jam some character traits down your throat. You're gonna spend the whole vacation on the... The booze? Beer, lots of it. Want a shrimp? Bear, is your vodka in the freezer? Now we're talking. I think this is still worth a watch, but it's nothing crazy. There's nothing groundbreaking in this movie but it's still fun. So I'm gonna give this two and a half spinning throw pillows out of five. For a film like this, where it's very story driven, there's only two ways it can go. It's either gonna hit its mark or it's gonna miss it. And I felt in this film, they kinda missed it. I was really disappointed with how it all played out because they just pretty much have this film paced out for you to just like check it off like, ah, I was right. That being said, I did enjoy some of our characters. I thought the acting was very well done and the location itself was good. It's just, I felt like they were trying to do something that's already been done, but they didn't do it as well as they probably could have. And they're trying to throw in spirituality to it. It just makes it seem too cheesy and too fake. But because of this concept and how this film actually plays out, I do think there's an audience for it. But for me, I was just more bored and waiting to make Make sure that what I thought was going to happen actually did happen. So with that being said, I'm gonna give this film two yokels out of five. And in loving memory of the yokel. The yokel? We did not hit the yokel. We did hit the yokel. Don't diss the yokel. Stop saying yokel. <laughs> As always, thank you for watching. Like this video and comment below with your thoughts on the film if you've seen it. If you haven't and you do want to check it out, there are links in the description where you can find it. And if you want the opportunity to recommend a movie for us to review, check out the links to the Patreon, also in the description. And if this is your first time here, make sure you subscribe to the channel, stay updated with everything, bloodbath, and beyond.